All right, guys, so I'm going to attempt to do something that uh, I don't think I ever thought I could do. Um, I'm going to attempt to hang a barn door. So we will see what happens. Um, cross your fingers. Let's see if me and my son Aiden can actually hang this barn door by ourselves. If we're able to do this, it's gonna be a freaking miracle. It really is. Mm -hmm. I will be so proud of myself if I can hang this barn door all by myself with Aiden's help, of course. So, let's do this. All right, so the first thing is I have a door panel right there. Okay, so when you have like a door, whatever this thing is, a door molding, a door frame, a door frame molding, whatever, I need to install a piece of wood above there. So I just got like a plank of wood. This is just like some pine wood from Home Depot. And I cut it the same length as this because this is the railing that the door is going to slide on. So I cut it around the same length as that. So the first thing we're gonna do is we want to install this up there. I want to find and mark where the studs are on the wall. So I'm gonna use my little stud finder. Beep, beep, beep. Oh, there's a stud. <laughs> Safety first, make sure to put your safety glasses on and we are ready to put that piece of wood on the wall. Now, I don't know if you can see, but I got some stain on the wall. I guess that stain wasn't completely dry on the wood. I even thought of the idea to use a Mr. Clean sponge to get that stain off the wall. Now we don't have to repaint it, yay! High five. So when I undrilled some stuff, I was left with a bunch of holes. So what I did is I got this plastic wood filler and I filled the wood. I still haven't sanded it yet. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sand that. And then I decided that I'm just going to paint this whole thing. I thought I was just gonna keep it stained, but because of the screws, I don't want it to look like that. So I figure if I just paint it with chalk paint, like a dark brown color, then I can paint over all these. Um, I can paint over all these screws. And then it will look a lot nicer than it does right now. You can fill in holes that you made in wood with plastic wood filler. This is only like $5 at the hardware store. So that's what I did. I followed the instructions and now I'm gonna sand it down. So I'm going to use chalk paint. The reason I'm going to use chalk paint because like latex paint normally doesn't um, like go over the nails very well. It doesn't stick to the nails, but chalk paint will stick to the nails. So that's why I love chalk paint for everything. And if you want to check out my chalk paint video, um, just look under my videos and you can find how to make your own chalk paint for super cheap. I just happened to have this brown and it ended up that it is matching perfectly. So I am done painting that. I just need to seal it. So I'm gonna seal it with this polyacrylic protective finish.
So I'm waiting for that to dry and then I will finally get that railing up. I'm so excited to finally have this done. You can see us. Um, okay, so next the directions are telling me to measure the door and then add one and three quarters of an inch to the measurement of the door. And then that is where we're gonna play. That is where we're gonna put the rail. Now I'm going to drill the pilot holes in. Make sure that you keep your level on this so when you're screwing it down that it stays level. We did it! Let's take a closer look. Hold well, on, we're gonna show you. Wow. <laughs> okay. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. You just slide it on the rail and then you use this little hex thing and then it has uh, little things in it already and then you just tighten them down. Check it out.